Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I shave my legs perfectly every time. It's summer and this video is very much needed because it's shaving season. So if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of shaving videos if you guys are interested. I also have an Instagram, it's at AudreyVictoriaX. So now let's get into the video. So I like to start off with using soap and the soap that I like to use when I shave my legs is Irish Spring. I also like to make a DIY body scrub, which I will show you guys how I use in a couple minutes. This is how I make the scrub. I just put about a tablespoon of coffee grounds. This is like a heaping tablespoon. And then I add maybe two tablespoons or three tablespoons. Actually, that looks like three tablespoons of olive oil and I mix it together. This is an amazing DIY body scrub and it does the same thing as a body scrub does that you can buy in the store. So I just mix this together and I set it aside for when I'm about to shave. So I also use a conditioner to shave and these are the razors that I like to use. They're just the Bic Soleil razors. These are my favorite. I also like to use body lotion. This is just suave nourishing lotion and it works perfectly on my legs and it's super affordable. So this is what the regrowth of my hair looks like after not shaving for a week. I try to shave twice a week in the spring and summer, but I slashed this week and the regrowth was real. So obviously first I like to use lukewarm water and this was at the very end of my shower, by the way. Now I'm going to wash my legs and I will just thoroughly wash them. This helps to prevent ingrown hairs and strawberry skin, which I will explain later in the video when I give you guys some more tips. Then I will apply my body scrub and again, I am obsessed with this body scrub. It is amazing and obviously you could buy like a cute body scrub from the store, but this just does the same exact thing and as a matter of fact, it almost leaves my legs feeling a lot smoother than the ones in the store. I don't know if it's the olive oil. I don't know if it's like the combination. It's something magical about this body scrub that just leaves my skin feeling amazingly smooth. So then I rinse it off of course and I use conditioner to shave. I don't use any shaving cream. I don't use anything like that to shave my legs I always use conditioner it helps to soften the hair on my legs making it a lot easier for me to shave and I try to let the conditioner sit on my legs for about three to five minutes while I'm in the shower just to help it soften the legs as much as possible and when I'm shaving I will go gentle all over my leg I shave my entire leg I try to focus specifically on around my ankles and my knees because those are the areas that I tend to forget those are also the areas that are the most sensitive but if you guys can notice when I'm shaving my legs especially Especially my thighs I have to shave in all different directions and that's because the hair on my leg grows in all different directions and I just have a lot of hair I also shave against the hair growth I'll explain a little bit more about why I do that later in this video but that just basically helps to ensure that I'm getting a closer shave and it just helps my legs to feel even smoother finally I just apply lotion and I can never shave my legs without applying lotion although the body scrub and the conditioner do help to make my legs really smooth and sometimes I feel like I don't need to use lotion i just like to use lotion after shaving and anytime after i get out of the shower to lock in the moisture and to just ensure that my legs are going to be as smooth and moisturized as possible all right so now i'm going to tell you guys a few more things about how i shave my legs so in terms of how often I shave my legs, it depends on the time of year. So in the winter, I'll honestly shave sometimes once every two weeks. That's not because my hair takes forever to grow back. It's just because I'm always wearing pants or leggings or something to cover up my legs. So I never have to shave. If no one is gonna see the hair, if I'm not gonna see the hair, I don't bother to shave. But at the same time, shaving my legs does help to make my legs feel super smooth. Because of that, I don't forego shaving altogether in the winter. I will just shave less often. So in the summertime, I shave my legs twice a week in order to keep up. Obviously, I could go with shaving just once a week. But shaving twice a week, again, just helps my legs to feel super smooth. And it helps them to look smooth. And I feel like that's important in the summer, at least for me. So for how I avoid strawberry skin and ingrown hairs, honestly, the only thing that I can say is that I make sure to clean my legs before I shave and then I also make sure to exfoliate my legs before I shave. Something that a lot of people don't mention in these shaving videos is that the tendency to have strawberry skin 
and to have a lot of ingrown hairs can be genetic. While there are some things that you can do to prevent ingrown hairs, I feel like it is genetic to be prone to get ingrown hairs. No one in my family has strawberry skin and I do occasionally get an ingrown hair here and there but I don't have crazy ingrown hairs and again I feel like that's probably because it's just not genetic. A lot of people in my family aren't even hairy so they don't really have the issue of having strawberry skin or having ingrown hairs. So one thing that I do that a lot of people actually don't recommend to do but that I haven't had much of an issue with is I shave against the direction of which the hair grows. So in a lot of my shaving videos, people will point out that I should shave with the hair growth, but I have had no issue shaving against the hair and shaving against the hair actually helps me to get a closer shave and my legs feel a lot smoother shaving against the hair. Obviously in other areas of my body, I prefer to shave differently, but because it's my legs and I just wanna get the closest shave as possible and I'm not really worried about ingrown hairs or cuts on my legs because it rarely happens to me, that's why I shave against the hair. Another thing that I do is I wait until the end of my shower to shave always. So after I've washed my hair, after I've washed my face, after I've cleaned my entire body, that's when I shave. And I do this for two reasons. When I'm in the shower and the warm water is on my skin, it's helping to soften the hair. So by the time that I shave at the end of the shower, the hair on my legs is as soft as it's gonna get and it makes it a lot easier to shave and a lot less abrasive. Another reason why I like to wait until the end is because I do use conditioner to shave. So waiting until the end helps to ensure that my skin is gonna be as smooth as possible when I get out of the shower. And of course, as you guys know, I always moisturize when I get out of the shower, but waiting to condition until the end just helps to add that added moisture into my legs and it just makes them a lot smoother. So another thing that I actually never do is I never use a cheap razor. So they don't really even get the job done of shaving my legs. But second of all, those are the types of products that will lead to cuts on me. I think it's just the cheap manufacturing of the razor that leads to irritation and cuts on my legs, but I never use those. Another thing that I never do is I never shave with just like regular body wash or a bar of soap and I never shave with nothing. So I know that that phrase is weird, but basically I just, I always make sure to apply conditioner and at the very least I will apply shaving cream, but I prefer to not apply shaving cream because that to me is just as bad as using a bar of soap. So I always try to use conditioner. Shaving with a bar of soap is just the sure way to irritate my skin and a really good way for me to get cut when I'm shaving because it dries out my skin and then when I'm trying to shave, like the dry skin mixed with the razor just leads to a cut. So I always try to use conditioner and I never shave with nothing like that. It just makes me cringe, but especially not on my legs. Another thing that I've done throughout the years, and I will admit I don't always do this, but I always actively try to do this, is take my razor out of the shower when I'm not going to shave or when I'm done shaving. And that's because when I leave the razor in the shower, although it's not directly under the water, a lot of times the steam in the shower or just like random drops of water that are spraying in the area where my razor is will lead to rusting a lot earlier. So I always throw my razor away before I even notice any rust, but leaving my razor in the shower even when I'm not showering, when I'm not using the razor, just really expedites the rusting process. So I always try to keep it in a place secure away from any moisture. So that's like a drawer outside of my bathroom or my bathroom cabinet. So another thing that I do when shaving my legs is I try to focus specifically on the areas that I miss. So if you guys are like me and your entire leg is hairy, I'm talking my thighs, my knees, my ankles, everywhere is hairy. There's just a lot of surface area to get and on top of that, a lot of times, especially on my thighs, the hair will just grow in different directions. So I have to shave this way, I have to shave that way and it can be really annoying. Because of that, I can often miss areas. And when I'm shaving my legs, although I don't do this every time, I try to focus on the areas that I know I always miss. So I'm talking about areas like my knees, my ankles and behind my thighs. I will try to focus on those areas when shaving. Those areas also tend to be really sensitive, which I feel like is why I miss spots there because I'm trying not to shave too intensely on those areas because they are sensitive. So I will try to gently shave on those areas. And of course I will try to gently shave my entire leg, but especially the areas that I miss and the areas that are the most easily irritated, which happen to be the same areas. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video about shaving my legs. If you guys are new to my channel, I have a bunch of other shaving videos. I'll put them in the description down below as well as in the cards if you guys wanna check out all of my other shaving videos. And also look out for my next shaving video, which is going to be about shaving my face. Although I do already have a face shaving video, I'm gonna make a brand new 
new one because I actually have a few techniques that I'm doing differently. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.